So we got our setup there now. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I just left the nail sticking out just a little bit. So it's easier to take a trap up. You can just uh, put the hammer on the nail and pull the nail right easy. So, anyway, so uh, continue on. I got, uh, I guess, four more to set up. So, and a weasel box too. So, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be out, uh, setting up a few weasel traps. Just got a rat, Victor rat trap with a little bit of rabbit meat tied to the trigger. And, uh, here, yesterday, there's a lot of weasel tracks around, so I decided I'll come out and try to catch a few. But all I'm gonna be doing is just nailing the rat trap to the tree like that. And, so, well, it's pretty simple. But anyways, I'll get her set up and show you. I just got another one set up there. I got the nailed to that eight by eight. It's just uh, in here under an old truck by a, uh, an old sawmill here that they don't use no more. It's usually a lot of weasels in around here because there's a big pile of logs on the other side of the truck here. So I caught a lot of weasels here in the past. I just figured I'd set it up again this year. Let's see what happens. I don't know. There's some old logs here under the snow. But uh I don't see any weasel tracks here right now, but we just got a little skiff of snow uh, maybe two hours ago or something. But anyways, I'll uh, continue on. Just got another one set there. That's uh, four rat traps now. I just I set the other one, but I didn't bother showing it. So, anyways, just on the edge of this little thicket runs down along this little uh, stream. Few, uh, windfalls in just in that way and so it should be a good spot we've come across the little brook here and yesterday when I came through here I seen there was some uh, mink tracks coming down along so I decided I'm gonna put it in a mink box so, uh, so I'll get her set up and show you that well, I got her set up there now just got a piece of rabbit leg there in the back and then 10 common bear got her anchored off to this little tree here I just put a little bit of brush over top of it to blend in the common bear a little bit but uh I always come down this brook here and I cut this corner off coming go right down along like this and either usually come down right there or there's a right there in the water so, I think I have a good chance of getting them here. So, anyways, carry on set more weasel traps. Just here, uh, I set up that weasel box. And I went back to the house and I got a live trap. So, I'm just going to set two of them here. Because yesterday there was weasels going back and forth through here a lot. I think they might have made like, probably close to 15 trips back and forth across the four-wheeler road out there. So... I'm gonna hope to get a double. I just got a number one long spring in the weasel box with a rabbit leg and this little piece of rabbit leg in the live trap. So, anyways, we'll uh, get this here set up. And there. Oh, well, anyways, I'll uh, see you again in the morning when I come back to check. Just back out this morning, coming to check those weasel traps. Just, uh, on the trail here. First trap that we just up ahead. So. Anyway, I didn't see no tracks around yet. Into the first trap here. He's not touched, but he's here is a. Uh, has rabbit tracks right there. You can see he kind of threw underneath there. I don't know if he could actually smell the bait or any smaller thing out of curiosity or what. There's <coughs> the other traps just right over here. That one's 
still sat too. Anyways, turn it back on next round. Just up here is another uh, weasel track. You can see right there, coming out from underneath the upper tree, is weasel track. And you see, come on out this way towards the track. But we missed them. The trap is just set off. Still got the bait. And you can see, he went on up through that way. And he did go across the trail over towards some of the traps. So just hope we got him over there. Just here at the weasel box and the live trap. There's nothing touched here. I already checked the box there. There's nothing around that. So, you know, luck today. But, you know, never know. Maybe tomorrow. And just coming up there to, uh, at Weasel Box and the live trap. And, uh, <clears throat> welcome this first uh, trap to check in today. Uh, welcome there, you can see we got Mr. Weasel. He's uh, just in that uh, number one long spring. We'll have to uh, dispatch him and then we'll carry on. We uh, just got that weasel out of the box there. He's still alive there in the foothold trap. But uh, as you can see, he's not completely white yet. So he's not going to be worth much. So I think I'm just going to let him go. So uh, yeah, I'll try to get that on video. Uh -oh. I'll try to bite me or not, so. Just, uh, I'll just cover him with my foot and see if. There he gone. He's just went up in a little hole there. So anyway, so uh, get this reset and hope for another one to come along. I was just coming up to the uh, other weasel trap there. And you can see we got ourselves another little weasel. This one's really small. But uh, he's a little bit brown too. Uh, I would have let him go, but. Ain't gonna be live in the rat trap. So I'm not gonna bother resetting that because they're not prime yet, so there's no point in taking them if they're not prime, so anyway, it's just a really small one. But anyways, what can you do? I'll carry on.